Now something really exciting is the 2010 Schoolhouse Pinot Noir. Immediately you're struck by the colour. Now why does it have more colour? Well it's higher altitude and cooler. So that means the diurnal difference or the difference in temperature between daytime and nighttime is accentuated. It's really cold at night time, really warm in the daytime and that promotes colour intensity. It means we pick it later as well. So it has a longer period to ripen, you get more complexity, more layered fruit flavours and that really shows itself in this wine. Lovely depth of dark fruit flavours and yet it's medium body, it's not really full and aggressively uh, rich, it's actually quite delicate. So you have depth and delicacy in the same thing. Because it's late ripening as well, you have a fine preserved ripe acidity threading its way through the palate and it cuts in with a nice mineral finish, not such a substantial uh, tannic presence such as with China Terrace, it's something a little finer and longer, tapers down, no peacock's feather in the finish of this wine, we're not looking for that. She tapers away and gives a real sense of elegance and fineness. Uh, so I think this this would be great with duck and lamb, sort of the lighter of the red meal, uh, red meat wines. Again, in terms of sellability, it'll go ten years. That <laughs> Sheba barking away. She agrees. I, th I think this is this is a wine to put away for a good long time. It's, a, it's probably our finest vineyard in Bendigo and has substantial potential for years and years to come.